Inside Tennis with the Cause is brought to you by BMW of Sarasota. Drive your dream at BMW of Sarasota. Hi, tennis fans. The Cause here with you again for another exciting half hour inside the world of tennis. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. What if we told you you could get legendary performance, iconic styling, and industry-leading technology in one ultimate driving machine? And what if we told you it could be yours for less than you imagined at BMW of Sarasota? Like new 320i's, only $269 per month. That's right, 320i's, $269 per month. Now there's only one thing to say. Yes, BMW of Sarasota. Experience the ultimate difference. The main thrust of Masters Tennis, the Florida Division, is to keep you playing the game. We're going to use the USTA orange and yellow ball. Bounces a little lower, a little slower, and we're going to shorten the court and make it a little bit more narrow. Because no matter what you say, as you get older, your eyes begin to fail a little bit, your reflexes begin to fail a little bit, and your movement begins to fail. So you say, I never reached the ball, I'm not going to play anymore. I'm telling you right now, we do not want you leaving the game. This is a lifetime sport, baby. We want you out there playing with your grandchildren and enjoying the game. And when you get the ball back a few times, you're going to say, this ain't too bad. Thank you, everybody. Nick Voluntary from Masters Tennis, Florida. Hi, tennis fans. Trust that everyone is off to a great start in 2016. Terrific action at the Australian Open. Great to see how well our Americans are doing. Lots of thrilling activity on the Suncoast tennis scene. Great catching up with Jason Golden and USDA Cardio Tennis National Manager Michelle Krause with Cardio Tennis Triples at the exhibition at Explanade Country Club at Lakewood Ranch. Had a blast with three-time slam doubles champion Daniel Vicek and tennis director Greg High at the Palm Air Country Club Doubles Symposium. And also cool to catch up with some of the juniors at the recent Play Sarasota Magazine Tennis Junior Exhibition at Lakewood Ranch and the Sarasota Sports Club USTA Junior Tournament with Sekou Bangor and Aaron Salou. So what's on the show today? Well, another great one. America's number one male player, John Isner, for a sit-down visit. A look at the newly renovated West Palm Beaches, the club at Ibis, with USPTA National President Chuck Gill. A very warm, touching look at America's tennis star, Ryan Harrison, and his new tennis student. Plus our roving report, along with our inside tennis with the Kaz Pro Tip, featuring Paul Letterman. And we'll keep you current with our Play Sarasota Magazine tennis calendar. So let's get it launched with the big guy, John Isner. John, you're approaching nine years on the tour. How fast did this last decade go for you? Uh, very fast. Um, it doesn't seem like that long ago that I was uh, playing for the University of Georgia. So, And to be honest, I never thought I would, I would do this well on tour. Um, so it's been a very, very nice uh, surprise for me. And I'm still doing it at a very high level on uh, coming up on, on year nine now. I'm going to finish my, high, my highest year in ranking ever. So I've done, um, done good things on the Pro Tour, and I know I, can, I, know I, have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of good years ahead of me as well. You're playing a lot out there. 25 tournaments last year. Yeah. It's the leader in the top 15. you got to handle travel. How do you handle travel, John? Well, I mean, I've, I've gotten used to it. Uh, jet lag doesn't bother me as much. You know, when you travel to a faraway place, say Asia, you know, you have to you have to be active. You can't let jet lag uh, get you. So I'm either practicing or in the gym. And then after a few days, I'm fine. So, um, you know, it's, sometimes those airline seats cost me a pretty penny. So I, I you need, you you know, need three long, don't you? I, do. I, I can't sit in the back, but um, I um, I handle it well. I feel like I've, I'm, I'm very mature now. I've been doing this for a long time. So I'll uh, keep on doing what I'm doing. You said that with a little pride. You're very mature right yeah. now. You're working with Gemmelstab, with uh -huh. Justin. We know what he's done for your net game. You're out there terminating points at the net. 
In addition to that, where's Justin helped you the most? Well, I think uh, tactically he's helped me, um, you know, X's and O's. He's helped me a, a lot. I mean, he knows the game so well. I think more than anything, it's a, uh, it, it's a belief for me, you know, and a belief that, you know, I have an unbelievable coach in my corner, a guy that knows the game so well, a guy that, that's played at a, at a very high level. So for me to have in my corner, it helps so much. Um, it's sort of a kind of, a, a, of an intangible thing, but um, it gives me a lot of confidence, and I – Go, go out onto the match court knowing that uh, my opponent is not better prepared than me. Um, so it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an advantage of, of mine, I believe. How do you like his sense of humor? Yeah, he will. He's, got, uh, he's got a lot of energy, as everyone knows. Uh, Justin, um, he, does, he does a lot of great things for our tour. He does a lot of great things for me. And he's got a lot going on in Los Angeles. We live on the opposite sides of the country, but it works. Um, I'm, glad I, uh, I'm glad we decided to, to work together last year, and we're going to work, uh, work together again this year. You're playing Roger Federer even these days. You're going back and forth, exchanging wins. What's it like to play Roger? What's it like to beat Roger? Um, well, to beat him is, is obviously pretty cool. I think I think just just playing him in general is, is an unbelievable uh, an unbelievable experience. Because no matter where you're playing him in the world, in the world you're on center court. You're in a packed house, so it's a lot of fun. Um, I got to play him in two uh, very big matches this year. One of which at the U.S. Open where he got me. Then. You know, one, uh, I played him in Europe in, in, in a great atmosphere as well. So um, it's amazing. He's, he's my favorite player. He's one of the – he's actually, he's the greatest player of all time, in my opinion. So it's, it's – and he's, he's still doing it at, at 34, um, three in the world, I believe. You're about to be 30. Yeah, I, I am 30. Oh, you are yeah, 30. Pardon 30. me. Yeah, well, I a, bel that. a belated happy yeah. birthday to you, John. You. Yeah, about seven months too late. But oh my, well, that's my, that's my track there of yeah, records. Good, yeah, no, but um, – no, I, I I am 30, but I, I feel good at 30. As long as I as long as I keep uh, working on my body and um, being smart in the gym and doing the right things, take care of myself, eating well, sleeping well, doing all of that, um, I can play for a long time. Biggest serve in the game, but what goes through your mind when you're about to return serve? Yeah. Well, um, you know, everyone, a lot of these guys out here have have great serves. So um, a lot of times there, there's there's some things that you really you can't control if guys are serving well you can't really control that but for me um, I, I need to be a little more aggressive and I think I, I showed that towards towards the end of the year um, taking some second serves and, and coming in and uh, putting putting pressure on my opponent that's something we're, I'm going to work on this offseason and uh, continue to work on and it'll, it'll pay dividends in uh, 2016. A lot of good moments for you in Davis Cup what does Davis Cup mean to players today John? Playing for my country at the highest level. Um, this country is as great as the uh, United States is. It's an unbelievable honor, and it's something something that I cherish and, and look forward to uh, um, continuing to play. You're part of the ATP. You're on the Players' Council. What's it mean to you personally to make some movement, some decisions with the pro game, and to grow the pro game? Yeah, uh, it's this is my second. It was my second year doing it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I get I get to see a side of the game that that I, I didn't really know. Um, so there's a lot of great people on, on our player side, and there's a lot of obviously a lot of uh, great players as well. So it was a lot of fun for me. Um, we had some we had some long meetings at at, at some tournaments, and um, we we're always exchanging emails and whatnot. So it was it was a lot of fun, and uh, and I I really really glad I I decided to run. Invaluable experience, very much for so. the outside world. All right, a couple of light ones. We'll finish up with this. U.S. Open press conference. I'm there. I see it. The Waz. Wozniak and Caroline comes yeah. in there. How surprised were you? And what was that like? Yeah, I was, uh, I was a little bit surprised. Actually, I shouldn't say I was surprised because that's how Caroline is. She's, uh, she's got a great sense of humor, as, as everyone, I, I think, can, can see. Um, she's a very uh, happy-go-lucky girl. And she, on top of that, she's a very good friend of mine. We've been good friends for a long time. Uh, she's a great girl, and she did crash my press conference and kind of put me under the fire there. But it, it was a good time. The two of you handled that so well. Yeah. All right, the lightest question of the day. Yeah. Uh, your brother, Jordan, okay. cool guy, cool yeah. guy. You got the biggest serve in the game, but that guy has got to have the biggest biceps. Does he pump those things up in the parking lot before he shoots uh, those Facebook posts? Yeah, I mean, I can't. Does he embarrass you with no, those? No, I, I, you no, know, I can't. He's a big guy. He's strong. And, um you know, I, I'm dedicated to tennis and getting better than the court. I guess he's 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 dedicated to the gym. Um, he you know he he's one of those guys that I would say actually look looks stronger than he is. You know, um, you know it's it's he's a lot of times doing a lot of the bicep curls. So um, he's a big guy, but he's a good brother to have. He's one of my biggest fans. All right, bigger and better in 2016 with John Isner. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Johnny.
What if we told you you could get legendary performance, iconic styling, and industry-leading technology in one ultimate driving machine? And what if we told you it could be yours for less than you imagined at BMW of Sarasota? Like new 320i's, only $269 per month. That's right, 320i's, $269 per month. Now there's only one thing to say. Yes, BMW of Sarasota. Experience the ultimate difference. Hey, USTA Florida coaches, let's get the kids out on the court. Introduce them to the game with these 10 and under tennis balls. 10 and under tennis allows kids to develop into all around competitive players by learning shot patterns early in life. Playing on courts that are scaled to their size, tennis rackets that fit their bodies, and tennis balls that bounce to the right height for their strokes. And they'll learn how to play the game right, and they'll be playing that game for a lifetime. Hi, I'm John Isner, and you're Inside Tennis with The Cause. Tennis fans, welcome back to Inside Tennis with The Cause. This all-American kid next door is one of the most popular and likable guys on the ATP Tour. Stay with us and see why, for another reason, Ryan Harrison rocks. That's okay. Can I, can I help you with one overhead? One, two, three, four. Did you see that? You ready? Try it again. Try it just like we just showed you. I like the glasses. Whoa, nice. Ryan Harrison, you just can't get enough of the game. Mm -hmm. You can't get enough of giving back to the game mm -hmm. and reaching out. Mm -hmm. Talk about the moments you just had. This was a cool kid. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, talk about a, an athlete. I mean, everything you show him, he picks up like right away. Um, it's so cool. You know, I was just talking to his mom about all the things he's learning whenever he's changing legs and he's learning how to run in new legs. And obviously, he's he's six now, so learning how to run with the uh, with the actual running legs. And it's just a, a whole different movement for him. But everything you can tell that he does, I mean, he picks up super quickly. I mean, it, it's amazing to see his energy level, how much fun he's having out there. It's uh, it's a breath of fresh air for someone who's just out here, just having a good time. I really love to try to get back whenever I can, and to meet a kid like this is just incredible. Just one more reason to admire this guy. <laughs> Always good to see you. Good to see you too, guys. Come on in here, pal. You were just out with one of America's finest players. What was that like? Awesome. How much do you like this game? What's tennis like for you? Uh, uh, I love when I try to get the ball. Like, when I, I got it, I got it, and then I don't always get it. <laughs> Tennis is fun when you try to get the ball and you get it. That's what it's all about. How good is your serve? Do you know what a serve is? Uh huh. When you fold up and then you try, and then you try to get as short as you can for so you can get a point. Somebody said you had a good serve. Do you know who said that? Who? Coach Ryan Harrison, and he's very proud of you. He's looking at you over there. Do you play any other sports? Baseball, soccer, and, and my mom didn't sign me up for archery. I know what your favorite sport is. Coach Ryan knows what your favorite sport is. I'll spell it and you help me spell it. T E N N I Tennis? Yes, you got it. You got it. Hey, welcome to our game, pal. I can see a champion. You feel like a champion? Mm -hmm. You are kind a champion. Of. And here's what's going on with our play Sarasota tennis calendar. January 30th, Bangor Level 7 Junior Championships at Lakewood Ranch. February 15th, West Coast Super Senior Grand Prix at the Meadows with Don Caprio. February 22nd, Super Senior Grand Prix at Palm Air with Greg High. March 5, the fourth annual Tarpon Springs Dental Pro Tennis Classic at Plantation. And on Saturday, March 19th, travel down to Fort Myers for Mark Beckler's eighth annual Madison's Match Professional Tennis Event with former number one doubles player in the world, Lisa Raymond, Jimmy Arias, and Nick Baldateri. And if you want to start thinking ahead, Miami Open fans, join Brenda Mertz for her March 28th, 29th bus tours to catch the exciting WTA and ATP action. Hi, I'm Paul Letterman, Director of Tennis here at the Athletic Center at Lakewood Ranch. What I want to talk to you today is about junior tennis and specifically your child's development in tennis. Um, you know, having my own child, I recognize at an early age 
you know, it was a little different change of pace for me because I was at first the coach, and uh, I was trying to uh, develop a coach-student relationship rather than a father-daughter relationship. But I'm going to talk to you today about not being the coach and getting your child off to find the right coach. You need to do your homework, find the right coach, and then at that point, make sure the coach is doing the coaching on the court. Your responsibilities are to prepare your child off the court, getting the tournaments, having them eat right, drink right, finding the right tournaments for them, but then let the coaching coaches do the coach. They, you've hired them for a reason. Their idea, they're going to recognize what the right tip grip is on the forehand, the right grip on the backhand, the style of play they should play. Just be a support system for your child, and you'll have a successful uh, time as a parent and have your child be a good tennis player and not resent you later on in life. What if we told you you could get legendary performance, iconic styling, and industry-leading technology in one ultimate driving machine? And what if we told you it could be yours for less than you imagined at BMW of Sarasota? Like new 320i's, only $269 per month. That's right, 320i's, $269 per month. Now there's only one thing to say. Yes, BMW of Sarasota. Experience the ultimate difference. Hey, USTA Florida coaches, let's get the kids out on the court. Introduce them to the game with these 10 and under tennis balls. 10 and under tennis allows kids to develop into all-around competitive players by learning shot patterns early in life, playing on courts that are scaled to their size, tennis rackets that fit their bodies, and tennis balls that bounce to the right height for their strokes. And they'll learn how to play the game right, and they'll be playing that game for a lifetime. Yo soy Tiago y estoy con Tennis in the Coast. Welcome back, tennis fans. We have some great, marvelous action with our roving reports. And then we'll give you a look at that beautiful, newly renovated The Club at Ibis in West Palm Beach. Junior tennis in Florida is by far the best junior tennis in the entire world. What we're trying to do with this exhibition series is bring that talent, bring that quality of play to the people. Well, Maria, another great event out at Lakewood Ranch, your home. Now you're having a little fun with this Play Sarasota Magazine Junior Exhibition. What's it like playing in an exhibition where it's not a ranking on the line? It's a lot of fun. That's pretty much the main event, really, and just go out and enjoy yourself. It's nice, nothing really matters that much. You just go and you play and it's what you play for. You get to have some fun, make some fun shots. You ever practice some of your weaknesses in a situation like this? Yeah. Getting them ready for the big stage? Yeah, definitely practice the weaknesses, uh, still having some fun out there. Good experience to come out here on the weekend. Play a little exhibition, show the crowd a little bit of game, you know, have a good time, little good shots, good tennis. Um, it's really a privilege for me to be able to play an exhibition in my hometown, number two. So I'm just going to go out there and have fun, put on a good show. Seku, what does the large number of Suncoast Junior Tournaments have impacting the game? But I think it brings parents, kids, it, it helps improve uh, the level of the tennis in the area. So our area is very strong, plus we have a lot of international kids, the level of a competition higher. California boy moves to Florida. Compare the difference between California tennis to Florida tennis. Mm, I feel Florida tennis is a little harder because there are more kids from different countries coming. It's fun, I guess. Much harder. So, Sam, you just came down from New York, Long Island. Difference between Eastern tennis and Florida tennis. Well, you get to play a lot more outdoors here because of the weather. At Eastern, it was all indoors, so you couldn't really experience, like, the elements that are going to, like, happen when you play at ATP. Well, it was a pretty big decision moving from New York to Florida because we had to leave a lot of friends behind, and, well, I didn't really know what I was getting into because it was a mystery. Steve, the wait is over and the excitement has begun. 
How excited are you to share this with your guests, with your club members, with your homeowners out at Ibis? Because it's been extremely exciting. The great news is after three years and one month, not that anybody's counting, we're done with construction and we're now moving forward with making the place great. This place has gotten a young look. It had a respected look before, but it's respected, and now it's brand new and young at the same time. We're excited about that. We've made an effort to do that by putting in pickleball courts, by adding two new tennis courts, by putting in a 16,000 square foot fitness facility. We were able to do the entire project, not only on time, but under budget. So we were able to build a 16,000 square foot fitness facility, a brand new 150 seat restaurant, a brand new spa as part of phase one. Phase two, we added 24,000 square feet to the clubhouse, added three restaurants, two tennis courts, and four pickleball courts. We've loved living here, it's safe, and we've raised three children here, and they love calling Ibis home just like we do. We can golf, we can tennis, we can swim. The four restaurants are amazing, just have our choice of all kinds of easy and fun things to do. They're having a ball. They're out enjoying the dining facilities and the new pickleball courts today, and new tennis courts, and uh, the new pools, and they're having a ball. Oh, it just makes it so superior. The beautification of the clubhouse and an added tennis court, it couldn't be better. It's, it's been great. Um, the addition to the courts and the pickleball is going to be fabulous. Um, the new clubhouse is amazing. And I actually love the pool area because I like to be outdoors as much as possible. So the bistro and the pool and the fitness center are spectacular. I think now that we're done, I think everybody can look at our viewing deck and the, the new courts and the great seating areas and all we have to offer between the fitness and the new clubhouse and I think everybody's really thrilled so it's really rewarding to see our members so happy. We're just really all having a good time. The management has done a fabulous job and we look forward to every day we wake up here. <laughs> well they've just really given us a facelift that's unbelievably top-notch. It's one of the best clubs that you could possibly want. Golf, tennis, the pool area is great. There's a world-class spa. Great people uh, that can provide almost any service you could want in any country club. Three generations of Nicholas family members designing these three golf courses. We just had Mr. Nicholas here for the grand opening along with Steve. Unfortunately, Jack Jr. was out of town. And uh, we had quite a few members tell Steve that the tradition was his favorite golf course or their favorite golf course. And Jack sort of looked over and said, no, wait a second, I did the legend golf course. So it was fun to see a little mutual uh, competition between the Nicholases. I bought a house in April and I'm now joined the tennis team and it's wonderful. It's very social. There's just so much to do here, golf and mahjong and bridge and parties and it's just the place to be. I think our members are very active. They like to get out, they like to recreate, um, and they use the club. They're very, very big users of everything between the fitness, the tennis, the spa, and uh, all of our activities, so it's great. We've got two young, great Americans out here. What's this mean to the program that these people can see these kids and five years later say, I'm watching a kid at the U.S. Open. He was on my court. A new club, new young Americans, new players. We like the theme. Having to play off the court, having some fun on the court is, is great, um, especially in this facility, opening up a new facility is great. So I'm, I'm going to enjoy this moment. Collected a little gold at the boys 18 clay courts. What was that like? It was really amazing to get my first uh, national title. It was really good experience, a tough tournament. I was really happy to come out on top for that one. To watch these kids out here playing, just it's a great, IBIS is just a great environment. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. They are professional, they do a great job, and I'm thrilled that IBIS would bring something like this to our membership. Our membership has just loved our new additions. We just have a wonderful facility, wonderful staff, and uh, we're so thrilled to have these young people come and perform for us. It's amazing to be here, you know, in this beautiful, beautiful country club and uh, to enjoy some sports, some tennis. Well, we are so excited to have this grand reopening. This is an incredible environment. The pickleball courts are a great addition. Speaking as someone who grew up playing tennis and loves to play tennis, this is just fantastic. Oh, all together we have maybe six men's teams, maybe seven senior men's teams, uh, two senior women's teams, 
five more uh, Palm Beach County leagues. We have inter-club uh, within the club. So with every Friday, we fill up probably at least 10 courts for several hours of the men playing against each other. Ladies round robin on Wednesday. So uh, mixed doubles on Sunday, which uh, fills up another 10 courts you know, for several hours. So it's a large program. Pickleball could be a great introduction for them to, to just learn a sport that they can play with their entire family. I just love it because you get lots of exercise and you get to talk to people and you, it's just fun just hitting that ball back and forth. You've got a lot of things keep you out of trouble here really. If you're in the middle of that and I, I paint so I do watercolor when I'm not playing tennis, which is great. We have a lot of classes here. The personal service that they can get here, the one-on-one, -on -one, where they have the relationship with a massage therapist or esthetician. When you go to resort, sometimes you need a massage therapist or esthetician. It's the only time that you see them here. You can build a personal relationship and really work on and seeing results. If it's with stretching, related to golf or tennis, or even in your skin care. It's wonderful to be a part of such an amazing, amazing club. Uh, just uh, from the ground up, um, the board of directors, the members here i mean it's everybody's just thrilled that it's come to this we love everybody here in chuck and all everybody that does everything here is the first class steve loga dice and everybody my wife had a lot to do with it and she uh hopefully she helped everybody here to make a uh, make a dream a reality and it did happen and this is where we are What if we told you you could get legendary performance, iconic styling, and industry-leading technology in one ultimate driving machine? And what if we told you it could be yours for less than you imagined at BMW of Sarasota? Like new 320i's, only 269 per month. That's right, 320i's, 269 per month. Now there's only one thing to say, yes. BMW of Sarasota, experience the ultimate difference. Tennis fans, you have an event coming up? Let us know. Something you want to see on the show? Drop us a note to the cause at InsideTennisWithTheCause.com. Follow us on Twitter at The Tennis Cause. Like us on Facebook at Inside Tennis With The Cause. Want to catch some past episodes? Go to InsideTennisWithTheCause.com or PlaySarasotaMag.com. Tennis fans, great to have you with us on Inside Tennis with the Cause. Boy, we love our sponsors, and you will too. Stop in to see them. But until then, remember, in tennis scoring, love means nothing. But love of the game means everything. Keep alive your love of the game. Love you, tennis fans. And we'll see you right here on SNN every Saturday at 2.30. Inside Tennis with the Cause has been brought to you by BMW of Sarasota. Experience the ultimate difference at BMW of Sarasota.